After the attacks in Paris, Europe has been once again confronted with jihadist extremism. One day after the Brussels attacks, the Burj plane has been turned into the backdrop for a media circus looking for answers. Investigative reporter Suad Mekenet and her colleagues at the Washington Post try to discover the identity of those who carried out the attacks. Much of extremism is about acting out fantasies. In this case, you're acting out a fantasy that has a religious dimension, that has this caliphate dimension. They're living out a fantasy. You know, terrorism is theater. It's in their interest to draw people into the conflict. They want more and more people to come in and, and be fighting in this theater. There is no place in the world at the moment where you will have such safety in the world. Because when Allah is with you, there is no better place to be. I'm feeling like I'm still dreaming. Wallahi ladhim, I'm thinking like I'm in the dream world. I can live in my life and I can feel as a Muslim. As this moment here. Uh, to the Muslims. I believe here here valley. Over the past few years, terrorist organizations have developed not only as performers of attacks, but also as storytellers. <laughs> Professional media departments produce a constant flow of jihadist propaganda in which the romance of the Islamic Brotherhood is aesthetically mixed with ultra-violence. It's often filmed as though it were a video game, and these violence commercials are broadcasted freely online. This is Backlight. Welcome to the world of virtual invitation to violence. 